welcome once again to uh, the Wesley Show, and uh, so excited uh, here at the studio once again. Uh, Jake Ramsey uh, is going to continue helping us to uh, memorize scripture, such an important part of growing in our Christian faith. Um, and today, I believe uh, we have a special scripture passage that many of you may be familiar with. Is that right, Jake? That's exactly right. And today we have the 23rd Psalm, which is really famous. Do you know who wrote it? Um, it was, it was King David, maybe? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And the 23rd Psalm is a really helpful chapter. It's a full chapter of the Bible. Uh, and so we're going to take our time to sort of break it up and use that strategy that we talked about last time. I'm not going to show you, Wesley. Do you remember what the name of the strategy was we talked about last time? I was like clumping, chunking. It was chunking. chunking. It was breaking things up into groups to make them easier to remember, right? And so we're going to use that strategy to break up this big thing. If we look at all of the 23rd Psalm right here, we've broken it up into four chunks. And the first chunk is this one that starts out with the Lord is my shepherd. And that's what we're going to work on today. And we're going to keep going and adding those on over time. So will you start out, Wesley, by reading this first chunk of the 23rd Psalm to us? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Mm -hmm. He restores my soul. Great. And so what we're going to use today is after we've chunked this, we're going to use another memorization strategy. And that's this idea of adding things on. A lot of people, times people think that when they memorize something, they need to make it as simple as possible and really break it down. But actually, if you want to really remember something, you want to add stuff on to make it easier to remember. You want to make more connections to it. So we're going to add on some visualizations, some connections, and we're going to kind of make it into a story that's going to make it easier for us to remember this first part of the 23rd Psalm. So uh, with this right here, uh, we've got the Lord is my shepherd. And when I think about that, I actually visualize in my head a shepherd who's taking care of, shepherd of course takes care of what, Wesley? Sheep. Yeah, of course, right? And so I think about if the Lord is the shepherd, then I am the sheep. And so I actually think about a sheep with my own face on it, which is a little bit of a funny you know, kind of thing, but it's actually really easy to remember myself as a sheep because that's not something I think about very often, right? And then I think about, okay, if the Lord is my shepherd, there's this verse right here that says, I shall not want. And that means that if the Lord is my shepherd, then that's kind of the response from me. So if the Lord is my shepherd, what does that mean for me? What does David say that means for him? I shall not want. Yeah, so the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And then if you look at this, there are three things, and I'm going to actually show it right here so we can just focus on this part. There are three things that happen that God does for us because he's our shepherd. What are those three things? Uh, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Yeah. He leads me beside still waters. Yeah. And he restores my soul. Yeah. So what we have here is we have this statement that the Lord is my shepherd, right? And then we have our response to that. And then we have three things that God does. Okay, so the first statement is, what's the first statement? Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah, and what's the response that we have then to the Lord being our shepherd? I shall not want. Yeah, and then what are the three things, and you may not know all of these yet, but we're going to get them. What is the first thing that God does for us? Um, he, he makes me lie down uh, in, in green pastures. Yeah, and why is that something that, that would be helpful? Like, what's the connection you can make? Well, you know, I, I've, I actually thought about this in one of the other episodes. Um, you know, I, I, running around, you know, all the time, uh, you can get distracted, um, you know, lying down, you may be reflective. Also for a sheep, you know, they're probably in danger if they're like running around, because yeah. sheep are kind of, you know, they're sort of ridiculous animals. Um, yeah. And I could see that the green pasture would be a safe, safe place for them. Yeah, so it'd be really safe. So that's one of the things that God does for us, right? So what's that first thing he does? Uh, he, uh, oh, he, he makes us lie down in green pastures. Yeah, he makes us lie down in green pastures, and that keeps us safe, right? Particularly if we're, if we're sheep, right? And do you remember the second one? You can read it if you don't remember. Oh, okay. Um, okay, he leads me beside still waters. Okay, got it. So the way I remember this is if I think about a story, that was that second tool was using a story, I think about, all right, if I'm a sheep, the first thing, I need some grass. So I want to get that, those green pastures. But then, after I've got that grass... I'm going to be pretty thirsty, right? So what do I need next? Oh, yeah, you need water. Yeah, and what if it's coming out of a waterfall? Is it? It's not going to be too easy yeah, to drink out of, dangerous, is it? Yeah, dangerous. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. So how do you want that water to be? Yes. 
It's calm, it's still. Yeah, it should be calm and still, exactly mm -hmm. right, okay? So let's take it from the top. What's the first, the, the starting thing? Oh yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah, and what does that mean for us then? Oh yeah, I shall not want. I got to tell you my visual on this one. Okay, yeah, tell me the visual. Well, because like oftentimes I'm like lying down next to the table and people are like eating lamb chops and stuff and yeah. I'm just thinking to myself, I can't want that, you know? I just can't want that because I'm going to get my dog chow later. That's great, that's yeah. great. And so if the Lord's your shepherd, you won't need to worry about, about anything but your dog. Exactly. It's going to come to you. Yeah. yeah. That's great. That's so great. the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Uh -huh. And then what is, what is God doing then? Uh, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Yeah. And he leads me, because uh, I might be thirsty. Yeah. He leads me beside still waters. Yeah. And then this last one is a little bit different. It's more less talking about us as a sheep and more as a person. So what's that final part? Um... Oh, he restores my soul. He restores my soul. And how is that connected to the rest of the story that we heard about? Well, you know, even as a dog, there's more to me than just being thirsty and hungry. There's like an inner, important, like, connection to God me as a yeah. dog. Yeah. And that's my soul. Yeah. And, um, you know, if that's not in a good place, pretty much nothing else is. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it's great to know that God takes care of all those three things that you need. Yeah. So let's take it from the top and see if you can give us the whole part. Okay. Um, okay. Stop cheating there, Wesley. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. I shall not want. Mm -hmm. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Yep. He leads me beside still waters. Yep. And he restores my soul. That is great. Well, let's take one minute. All right. And we're going to ask for everybody at home to try it out themselves. Ready? Go. Okay, Wesley, you try now. Okay. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. And if you're at home, you can say it alongside Wesley. I shall not want. He uh, leads me into green pastures. Something like that. Um, let's, let's try to get it exactly. Okay. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Yeah, even when you don't feel like it, right? He helps right. you yeah, he to does. get to that point, right? Yeah, uh -huh. lie down. Um, and he leads me beside the still waters. Yeah. And he restores my soul. Great. Well, Wesley, you've, done, you've just done the entire first chunk of the 23rd Psalm, and I'm excited for you to actually memorize the entire thing, which you're going to be able to do pretty soon. Well, That's... Then. That's so exciting, you know. I mean, this is like one of the key prayers of the of the church, and and to be able to think I could know it, I'm so excited. Jake, thank you so much for your help, and thank you out there for you know listening and hopefully maybe learning some of this yourself.